Hey guys, this is the third video in our squat series. This video is really going to be emphasizing individual or personalized foot position and leg position, hip position. So what I'm going to ask Bomber to do is he's actually going to lie on his back, face up. Yep. So a question that's always asked is, what is the right depth for me and what is the right foot position for me? And that's very personal. That depends on what you're able to do, the structure of your hip socket, and how much you can control. So the first thing we're really looking at is I'm testing to see the shape of his hip socket, right? So we're gonna ask you just to bring both knees up towards your stomach for a second here. Good, and we're gonna bring them up into the air. Good. So for you guys in the video, what I'm looking to see as a coach or for the athlete is I'm gonna gently let those knees start to go up towards his torso. And what I want to see is when does the butt actually roll off the ground? because if his butt rolls off the ground here, it means he cannot go any further than this distance when he's squatting. So if I get to this point, and his butt's flat, butt flat, good, he's relaxed in this position, and it's right about here, we just start to see his body roll up. Let's exaggerate as if he's right up into those hips. So we think about this angle of his body right there will be roughly this angle of his squat right here. So if he if he was able to get his knee all the way up to his chest, well then maybe he can get his butt all the way down to the ground. But he can't, so he wouldn't when he's using the bar. The second part of this exercise is understanding what is the right width for his knees. So what I'm gonna ask Bomber to do is he's gonna put his hands on his knees, and you're just gonna start to move the knees around in like circles, and kind of just get a feel for what feels right. Now you'll notice as you start to move out or in or up and down, certain areas of the hip are gonna feel tighter or a little bit more uncomfortable. As soon as it becomes uncomfortable in a very passive position, then that's not gonna be right for you, all right? So from here, he's gonna to start to feel what the right position is. He's gonna look at his knees and he's gonna look at his feet. So he's gonna recognize that this is the distance, this is the width between his knees, and this is the angle of his feet. And all he's gonna do is to take this information and bring it up to his squat. So from here, just kind of catalog this information. We're gonna bring you up to your squat position. You're gonna to look to repeat those angles, and you're gonna slowly squat for us. Good. Now, Bomber has a lot of experience, so he knows what feels right to him, but for a new athlete, you might need to take some time, practice and experiment. Maybe it feels comfortable really narrow and you have to practice here, or maybe you might have to move out and start to practice from this position. Just work for what's right with you.